We begin this evening in Carteret County and a meeting on the future of offshore oil drilling. It's a topic that brings about strong opinions from those for and against drilling off the Carolina coast. Even North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper is passionate about the issue. Here's what he said in Atlantic Beach just three weeks ago. As governor, I'm here to speak out and to take action against it. Not off our coast. Still some are in favor of offshore drilling, including President Donald Trump. Tonight, a chance for residents along the Crystal Coast to give their input. WNCT's Brandon Truett reports from Moorhead City. Tonight's input session was held at the Crystal Coast Civic Center in Moorhead City, and it was so full it was standing room only. Offshore drilling, always a controversial subject, and tonight it was no different. This is really the first step in an eight to 10 year process before we would ever see any kind of drilling activity off our coast. The Department of Environmental Quality is hosting this event in response to an executive order from President Donald Trump. The order would allow for the expansion of offshore drilling. This is a, uh, again, a, a long regulatory process with multiple opportunities like this over the next eight to 10 years for public comment, public input, public hearings, prior to any drilling activity taken off, taken place off our coast. David McGowan spoke Wednesday night in support of the expansion to include the NC coast. We believe that North Carolina has a tremendous opportunity from an economic standpoint, from an energy security standpoint, even from a national security standpoint to play a role in supporting our domestic energy revolution. McGowan says the United States produces 10 million barrels of oil a day, but consumes nearly 20 million. We're still Im importing a lot of product and many of that from places that maybe don't always have our best interest in mind. Supporters were met with strong opposition at the event, like Larry Baldwin. This water is, is it's a resource that was given to us to take care of, not to take advantage of. Baldwin recognizes the meeting is just a preliminary step, but says there's no room for drilling along the Crystal Coast. The process of figuring out where oil and gas is out here is going to have as much an impact as an oil spill could. Baldwin, like many who spoke, lives and works in Moorhead City and says these waters mean too much to him to risk. The risk does not outweigh those benefits. It really is not worth the risk. This is just the first of several public input sessions. The Department of Environmental Quality will take these responses and decide what, if any, steps to take moving forward in what could be a nearly decades-long process. In Moorhead City, Brandon Truitt, not on your side.